Uh, every, everyone asks me why. I tell them, well, it's a Ford Tempo, which nobody ever does. They could do it, Showtime could do it. Hey guys, Jerry from Showtime Audio. So just wanted to show you this amazing build. So we actually built this car probably, we've been working on this car for over 20 years and we built uh, a lot of the original system probably 20 years ago. Uh, the clients just brought it in for us to do a refresh on it. So obviously all the gear was very outdated and um, there's a uh, car show coming up, which is the World of Wheels. Uh, it's one of the biggest car shows in, in the Midwest and this car will be attending. So we wanted to freshen it up, change, we did change some of the aspects of it, but we kept the core part of the build because we wanted to stay true to the way we built the car originally. We just, the only thing that really changed was the gear. We rewired the entire car, um, uh, added some TVs, redid the trunk, um, just a ton of work. So I'm gonna walk you through everything. So this actually has these um, light up license plates. So it looks like a real plate, but it lights up at night. It's got a switch for, everything's on a switch so he can control as much or as little as he wants. We added the uh, LED strobe lights. We got some lighting here for the engine bay so he can show off all the chrome and all the tin work that has been that has been done to the engine. And we've upgraded the radio. Uh, we've added a new radio, modern radio, plays DVDs, uh, CDs, wireless CarPlay, all the modern good stuff, backup camera. Redid all the lighting. Added a custom uh, door logo with our retro theme. We've been working on this car for a very long time. So this is probably the 10th time or something, right Hondo, that we've yep. redone this thing? All right, and now for the real magic. And if you can see back here, there's actually a big TV in the back between the seats. And then there's like a waterfall that runs all down the center. And then for the back, so again, light up license plate, LED strobe lights, and the real magic. So. We went with uh, two of the brand new uh, Audio Mobile 15s. These things are amazing. So they work in a really small enclosure for being a 15 inch sub, and they're also real shallow. So we have two 15s, but as you can see, he still has basically all of his trunk left. So we added, there's two four channel amplifiers that run all the uh, six and a half inch Alpine speakers. And these are Alpine amplifiers. And then we built everything you see that was hand fabricated in house. So all the, all the acrylic, the plexiglass, um, the enclosure, basically everything you see was hand built here by uh, our team. There's under here, we've, we'll overlay some pictures, but there's all the wiring and all the, there's actually a second, uh, third amplifier, which runs the subwoofers, a power supply. So at a car show, he just plugs in and the car is completely um, self-contained. You don't need anything except for an extension cord. You basically extension cord, plug the car in, so one of the things that we do a lot for our show vehicles is this is a waterproof 110 connector. So for a lot for our show vehicles, we do this so it makes it super easy. So you don't have the cord hanging out of the trunk or under the hood or have to hook up a jump starter. So all you do is you pop open this rubber cover, you plug in the cord, and then you plug it into the wall. So now the car is plugged in and I mean, it can literally run forever. I mean, it, it can, as long as it's plugged in, the stereo, video, everything will run indefinitely. There's a ton of switches we'll show you on the console and that can turn on or off anything in the entire vehicle. In all our show cars, we do what's called a show switch. So one of the things that we don't want is that the car shows, you have to leave a lot of show cars, you have to leave the key in it in the on position. The bad part about that is in the accessory position, even in, even in the accessory position, you still have some of the car functions and we don't need any of that. All we need is for the electronics and all the TVs, lighting and everything to work. So we're gonna show you. So if you hit that switch, it basically disables the entire system. But when you, when you, go to, when you show up at a show, you flip that switch and it will turn on everything as long as you left everything on. But if you don't want the strobes or you don't want the lighting or you don't want um, any of that, it's all, you can disactivate any of it. Right. So this car also has a nitrous bottle with a purge valve with an LED. So you just hit this button here 
And then last, lastly, this car also has a train horn in it. So we have a compressor and four actual horns uh, hidden inside of the bumper. Uh, we're gonna show you that real quick. <laughs> so this car's got everything. All right, so one of the other things is there's actually a TV in this gauge. So we custom modified this gauge. This was done quite a bit ago, but it's just cool. We want to show you this is probably done 15 years ago. Probably. It's probably 15 years old. A lot of the build is very old. We've done, we did the build a long time ago. So basically what we're doing now is he wanted to keep it kind of retro, but modernize it with all modern, modern gear but keep the, the build just because um, he, he he's had a lot of luck with this vehicle and he's, you know, he really likes the vehicle. So even the brake pedal has a monitor on it. But so you can see there's an actual monitor in the brake pedal itself and that also lights up. So we also added rock, uh, rock lights behind the wheels so that the wheels themselves would glow. So there's even a TV in this billet aluminum gas door. So same thing, this was done probably 15 years ago and we machined out this window. So that we ordered the billet gas door and then we machined an opening and mounted a monitor into it. So just to show you all, you know, how much attention to detail and how, how crazy you can get with a vehicle. Uh, right now, thanks to Showtime, I've got 17 TVs in a total. Uh, every, everyone asks me why. I tell them, well, one, it's a, it's a Ford Tempo, which nobody ever does. And 17, because they could do it. Showtime could do it. Boss ass bitch. bitch. 